Today, we're gonna to show you guys how to change out the oil on your Royal Enfield Himalayan. You should be changing this oil out at the initial 300 miles, and then every 3,000 miles thereafter. It's simple to do. Let's go ahead and get started. To get this done, we have our Tusk four-stroke oil change kit. It comes with the right amount of oil, the oil filter, your gasket, O-ring, and even a funnel. Now, we're also using some contact cleaner to help clean things up. Now, if you need any of this stuff, just click the link in the description below, and that's gonna take you over to our website. Next, you wanna place a drain pan underneath the bike. And on this left-hand side, we've got this drain plug right here, but I'm actually not gonna remove it. What I'm gonna do, take this piece of tin foil, I'm gonna shape this up so all of the oil drains down into our pan. And if you got a little dirt up here, you wanna make sure you spray it off. And I'm gonna take an eight millimeter socket and remove both of these bolts. And I'm just gonna break them free at first and let some of that oil drain out. And then we'll remove them the rest of the way and remove that cover. So underneath the cover, we have this oil screen. You should be able to pull it out by hand, but if you can't, you can get some needle nose pliers on there. Now we have our bike on a lift just to better show the process. So I'm gonna tip it over just a little bit to help some of that oil come out. But if you're not using a lift, just leave it on the kickstand. It should help get all of that out. Next, we have the oil filter cover, and I'm just gonna place a little bit of tin foil underneath just to catch any oil coming out. We're gonna remove these three bolts with an eight millimeter socket. If you have an engine guard like us, you might wanna move it out of the way. I've gone ahead and loosened up the bolts. And then from here, we're just gonna clean everything up. So I'm gonna remove that old gasket. I'm gonna wipe everything off. If you have some contact cleaner, you can spray it off. Now for the new oil filter, I'm gonna lube up that rubber grommet with some oil. Stick that in place. And you wanna make sure the spring is still in the center of the cover. Set the gasket on and we'll reinstall the three bolts. And then once you have those bolts tight, I'm just gonna wipe down the cover. We're gonna go back over to the other side. After that, I'm gonna clean the ceiling surface. I'm gonna do the same thing on that cover and replace that O-ring at the same time.
And with the new O-ring, just make sure that you have oil on it. I'm gonna set that aside. We're gonna clean this oil screen and just take note, this has an arrow. So it's actually tapered and that arrow needs to face in towards the engine. And with this screen, you're just making sure that there's no metal shavings on it or any engine sealant or anything that's clogging it up. So with that clean, we can go ahead and reinstall it. And we can set the cover in place and tighten down the two bolts. Now we're gonna fill the engine with oil. The spec is anywhere between 1600 and 1800 milliliters. We're just going right in the middle for now and then we'll make adjustments from there. I'm gonna reinstall the oil fill cap. Then we're gonna start the bike and let it run for a couple minutes. Shut it off, we'll let the bike sit, and then we're gonna check the oil height in the sight glass. You want it to be in between the upper and lower marks. So we've let the bike sit. You can see our oil level is on that upper mark, so we know we're good. Now, I do wanna point out that oil doesn't look as clean as I would like, but this thing, it leaves about a half a liter of oil in that bottom end. So it's just kind of mixed in there with everything else. So if you're trying to get all of that out, you might be able to lean your bike over a little more and get some more oil out, but just keep in mind, you might have to put some more oil in. Now, if you have the service icon on, on your dash, what you're gonna to do to reset that is hold this button, the select button. You're gonna do that for five seconds. Turn the key on. With the key on, that wrench should reset after 10 seconds. So with ours, we actually don't have that light on right now, so we can't really show you, but if you do have the wrench on, that's how you would clear it. So that's it for the oil change on your Royal Enfeld Himalayan. If you need the oil change kit, just click the link in the description below. That's gonna take you over to our website. We've got a ton of other parts and accessories on there as well. So go check those out and take advantage of the free shipping on orders over $75. Now, if you wanna see more helpful content like this, make sure you subscribe to our channel. I'm Charles with Rocky Mountain ATVMC. Thanks for watching.